Hey everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about a bunch of skincare products, some body care, and also a fragrance that I have been loving this month. I'm probably the last person on earth to try the Oscar Renaissance Cleansing Gel. I know that that was like a real thing on YouTube where like all the influencers were raving about this cleanser and at the time I just never used it. I don't think I could afford it at the time. Um, but now I've decided to make the investment into it because it's quite an expensive cleanser. I don't particularly, I say I don't like spending lots of money on cleansers and then I feel like the cleansers that I've spoken about in the last videos have been quite expensive. Um, but it's not really where you should be spending your money, you should be spending your money on your serums. Um, however, this is a really, really nice cleanser. It fits my, you know, into the categories of an ideal cleanser for me. I do not like a tub usually where you have to stick your finger in it. I like a pump um, or a tube and I like a cleanser that I can get everything all off in one go and I can rinse it off. So it's something that's nice like a gel or a balm but it rinses off without leaving the skin feeling like super oily and this does that so it's got a nice gel consistency it smells slightly of rose it contains vitamin a c and e omega-6 pumpkin enzymes chamomile and rose so all of these ingredients are somehow justifying the higher price tag um, it's just a lovely cleanser ultimately um, i really really enjoy using it and it's just easy as well as the cleanser i also picked up the floral water this contains rose so it smells lovely and it has the msm ingredient in that is unique to oskia i'm not entirely sure what the benefits of that are uh, this is just a really nice um, hydrating layer to my skin because I get trans epidermal water loss really, really quickly when I get out of the shower. So I just like to splash this on just to keep my skin uh, nice and hydrated so that it can definitely soak in all of those uh, serums and whatever that I put on afterwards uh, more efficiently. So I do like using this. Um, it smells lovely. It doesn't have the glide that some of the Korean toners or essences that I love have. I think that's because this is a natural skincare brand. I don't know if it's silicon. I don't think that they would use silicon in an essence, but I don't know. So it doesn't, um, yeah, it doesn't have that silky glide that some of the other products that I love have, but it is still really nice and it smells nice and fresh and rosy. Allies of Skin is a brand that I've been really enjoying recently and I've been trying a bunch of their different products. One of my favorites has to be the peptides and antioxidants firming daily treatment, which is basically a really, really nice moisturizer that has many different benefits for the skin all in one product. You know those days when you get home from work and you're like super, super tired, you jump in the shower and you just want to do your skincare routine as quickly as possible so you can just like chill out and do nothing, then this is a really good product to look out for. I'm happy to use this all over my face, so I use it around my eyes and just everywhere. So if I can't be bothered to use an eye cream or even some kind of essence or anything like that, then I literally just wash my face. Uh, put this all over and then I'm done. It contains seven brightness, nine antioxidants and four peptides. So it has many different benefits for the skin. It has the loveliest finish. I've been using this for a little while now and I really like it. I think that this is my second tube of it. So I'm really, really enjoying it. And I have to say, I think that out of all of the Allies of Skin products, this is definitely my favorite. I noticed pretty quickly after I started using it, how soft, and um, bright and clear and moisturized and hydrated it made my skin feel. It's a pricey product. All of the allies of skin products are super pricey to be honest, but I love the fact that it just makes my skincare routine super easy, especially on those days when I'm feeling really tired and lazy and I just wanna get it done quickly. After trying the moisturizer, I was really keen to try their retinol serum. Um, this has also got, as well as the retinol, it's got uh, four peptides, 10 antioxidants, and five uh, brightness in it, as well as 0.05% encapsulated retinaldehyde. So again, so many benefits, um, all in one product so that you've got a nice speedy, but excellent skincare routine uh, without having to use a million different products. I have to say this isn't uh, my favorite. I still really enjoy using it. I bought this from the website. So if you go directly to the website, they always have 
uh, discount codes and I actually got this in a buy one get one free so whilst it is super pricey when you get two for the price of one it's definitely a lot more affordable I love that it has so many different benefits as I've been saying but uh, one thing that I don't really love about this is it has a uh, lavender scent to it so they've added some lavender essential oil all of the products as far as i'm aware aren't fragrant so this has just got the essential oils in it which can still be sensitizing to some skin types especially if you are using an ingredient an active ingredient such as retinol or retinaldehyde so um, i don't love that they included it in there i get the point of it because it's night time lavender's relaxing blah 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 but i just think that it didn't really need to be in there it doesn't add anything for me so i would prefer it if it didn't have that lavender scent but all in all i do like it i am just a fan of the tretinoin which i've spoken about in previous videos i think that i would rather just use that a few times a week but i was super keen to try this i'm still enjoying it um it is good when I don't want something as strong as the tretinoin, but I still want to keep that going, uh, I use this and I really enjoy it. And sometimes I use this and then I will put the tretinoin on top and I always use an eye cream as well. So I don't put this like all over my eyes. I always get super excited when Drunk Elephant launch a new product. So when they launched their Ceramite AF eye balm, uh, I had to go out and get it on the day that it launched. So I've been using it for a little while now. It's a really nice eye cream and it's kind of essential for those uh, nights or days um, when I'm using say vitamin C in the morning or a retinol at night and I definitely need something that's just much more simple and nourishing around my eye area that isn't going to cause any irritation. So that's when I reach for this and I really, really like it. And it's fragrance free, great packaging. Drunk Elephant always nail it with the packaging. It's lovely. You don't necessarily have to get this. This is just like a handy product because it just like pumps out the right amount and it's just great. But ultimately you could get away with using the Proteini around the eyes and just use it all over your face as well because the Proteini is a really nice light gel moisturizer. So it's not gonna to be too heavy for the eye area. So you definitely don't have to have this, but it's really, really nice if you like an eye cream. Out of all the Drunk Elephant eye creams, they've got three in total. The C Tango is by far my favorite though. I think that that is hands down one of the best eye creams that exists. I love it because it's got all the different forms of vitamin C, all the peptides in. Uh, but when you want something that perhaps hasn't got vitamin C, then this is a good option to look out for. Another product that so many people have been raving about for ages is the Ultraviolet uh, SPF 50 hydrating sunscreen. It's worth the hype, this is so good. This is the most expensive sunscreen that I have ever used. This is probably my second or third tube of this, and I love it. I feel like it lasts for a good amount of time. It's just so nice. Generally in the mornings, I will cleanse, put on some eye cream, uh, use a vitamin C, and then just put this on. So it's my moisturizer and sunscreen in one, and it is lovely. I have to be careful of sunscreens so that they don't make me too greasy. Um, and this doesn't, this isn't as greasy as I thought it would be considering it's a hydrating uh, sunscreen. And my skin's definitely on the combo to oily side. So when I'm at work by the afternoon, I often look quite oily uh, with any sunscreen. And I thought that this would be like more so because of the hydrating element, but it's not. It's really, really good and I love it. In terms of the oiliness and shininess, I found something to combat that that's really good. It's the Supergoop Resetting Powder SPF 30. So basically I finish my skincare with the sunscreen allow everything to just dry down for a couple of minutes and kind of soak into the skin. And then I go over with this just to set it over my forehead, around my nose. And it's another layer of sunscreen, which is never a bad thing. And it also helps prevent the oiliness that will come up later in the day in my case. And it definitely helps with that. The packaging's a bit fiddly, like you've got this like little tube that comes off and it's a bit of a faff trying to like squeeze all the bristles back into this tube again but it's okay it works it's fine um it does a good job and it definitely helps with the oiliness and adds that extra layer of sunscreen which is never a bad thing so now i'm just going to move on to body and then i've got uh, some fragrance to talk about 
Um, it's actually a hand wash by Aesop. I love this hand wash. So you've got the specific hand wash that you get in the shops or like certain restaurants or whatever that use Aesop and that's okay. The one that you need to look out for is this one. This is the hand wash that I feel like is so underrated and it's the Vetiver Root Pettigrain and Bergamot Rind. Um, this is so good. It smells far better than the other one, which is nice, but this is so much nicer. And also it's got the, the Bergamot Rind is basically these tiny little grains. So it exfoliates your hands. So when you come home, well, when I come home at the end of the day and I get in the door, the first thing I do is wash my hands with this and just these, the exfoliating grains that are in it is like a nice little hand massage. So if you've been on your computer all day or in my case doing hair all day, working with my hands, um, it's just like a mini massage and it also smells amazing. And um, I love it. So that's something that I'm really, really enjoying using. This is the second bottle of it and I love it. Okay, I'm quickly going to finish off with fragrance. This um, is a fragrance from a brand called Santa Maria Novella, which is this beautiful Italian fragrance company that is from Florence and they were established since, they are established since 1612. 1612, that's how old they are. I mean, that's just like blows my mind. And they've got these very classic, but lovely, lovely scents. Um, and I feel like they aren't, obviously they're pricey, but if you compare it to some other brands that um, are out there, they're not super, super pricey, um, but they're definitely like a luxury a fragrance. I've got the Alba de Sol, which is inspired by pine forests in Korea. So it smells nice and fresh. Oh, I love this. It's a cologne. It's, oh, it's so good. So I've been wearing this recently and absolutely loving it. I might not be able to link all the products in this video. I don't know if I've got time, but I'll definitely write them in the description box so you can Google them otherwise. Um, and they've got a website where they also do online delivery and it's such a nice brand. You should definitely check it out. And it's like under the radar. So it's not going to be one of those fragrances that everyone knows what it is. So it's going to be uh, unusual, which is always nice. I'm going to finish with a fragrance, which is this pumpkin limited edition candle from Diptyque. I was so excited when I saw this because I love a Christmas candle. So when I saw that they had a limited edition autumn one, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to try this. And I thought that being pumpkin, it would be like a little bit spicy and sweet, but it's not. It's like fresh and sweet, almost like what I imagine like a raw pumpkin would taste like. It's still available, so I definitely suggest that you check it out if you like a seasonal candle and you want something that creates that cozy atmosphere in your home, which is so nice at this time of year. Uh, so definitely check it out because it's so nice. And I have to say, with in terms of fragranced candles, I feel like Diptyque is a really, really good quality. They, they're, you know, they're super popular and well known, but out of all of them, they are really, really good quality and they literally, fill your home with scent very quickly, I find. So in terms of quality, they're also really, really good. So that's the roundup of products that I have been using recently and enjoying. I hope that you found this video useful and entertaining. It's nice to be back and I hope to see you very soon in my next video.